The Department of Mechanical Engineering was established in the year of 2010 with an intake of 60. The department has well equipped 10 laboratories, including project lab and one department library. The department has qualified and experienced 13 faculty and 6 technical staff, among which 3 are PhD holders and 5 are pursuing PhD and the remaining are MTechs. The department has encouraged faculty to attend various national and international level workshops, faculty development programs, conferences, seminars, to publish research articles in national and international renowned journals to enrich their knowledge. So this enriching day, uh, enriching knowledge is useful to improve the quality of the students. The department follows the student-centric approaches. The department organizes various workshops, seminars, guest lectures by academic personalities from industry and academia. The student projects exhibits in various state level programs and won the prizes. So nearly 15 journals are published by our students within the, with the support of faculty. It is the research potential of our students and it will use the lifelong learning to the students. Students have professional society memberships in the Institute of Engineers, Party Circle Forum of India and Indian Society of Technical Education. So the department has one student association game that is Githaudri Association of Mechanical Engineers. Students organize various technical events through professional student societies and non-technical events through student associations. So that is Githaudri Association of Mechanical Engineers. Our alumni working in limited core industries like Tech Mahindra, Riveting Turbines, Horn Light, Capital Engineers. Our project lab has equipped with 3D printer, pick and place robot, pin out disc, and in the near future, we are planning to establish a robotic laboratory in our department. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Murli Krishna, Why? working as assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering since 2013. Today, I am going to represent the mentoring system in Mechanical Engineering Department. In Mechanical Engineering Department, mentor plays a crucial role to identify the strength and weakness of students and will be solved by taking care personally. We provide counseling for students to enhance good progression of results in their academics. Weekly monitoring reports will be evaluated and sent to the parents. After the semester results are announced, the progress reports will be prepared and sent to respective parents through post. And then, students who are having backlogs are identified and remedial classes will be conducted to ensure cost percentage in the respective subject. That's why students find their future in Itadli Institute of Science and Technology, Nelia. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Srinivas Rao, working as Associate Professor and Lieutenant the Institute of Mechanical Engineering Department of Itadli Institute of Science and Technology. So I am happy to tell about the so, advanced teaching method methodologies that we are following in the college. So conventional way of learning from blackboard teaching is a passive learning I feel and we feel it as uh, no more, it is an effective tool, tool of learning. We, the faculty in Gita Institute of Science and Technology, strongly believe that students learn better through active learning techniques. The prime mode of adopting active learning method is to make the students self reliant and self sufficient. In active learning method, students take responsibility in learning process, involved in the activities beyond just listening, such as reading, writing, discussing, and solving problems. Active learning techniques include uh, in class group work, problems, problem based learning, project based learning, and team based sharing strategy, etc. In active learning mode, multiple teaching learning strategies we are uh, using to enhance the cognitive levels of the students. Cognitive, few such techniques that we are following here are uh, tutorial classes we do. So, in tutorials, so additional information we will provide uh, apart from the, the regular teaching. And, uh, so we have the various type of models available. We try to explain to the students using the models also to make them understand better. We also use the concept of little classrooms. So in the little classroom method, certain topics of subjects will be given to the students, and students will be asked to prepare uh, so that so they will come prepared on their own. So they will submit a small report on that also, so that their understanding levels also will be enhanced. 
So we take them these students to industrial units also to make them to understand so uh, concepts better. So more practical orientation they will get about the so part of mechanical systems and mechanical. Yes, we also take the students to industrial units. Minimum each section of the students will be taken from two industrial units. So every year, so so that we give more practical exposure to the students also. Therefore, their understanding levels also will be better for that. So we also adopt the technique e-braille. This is not a library, it is e-braille, where on emerging technologies topics will be given to the students, and students will be asked to prepare on their own. So on the same topic, separate questionnaire will be prepared, and the students will be asked to go through a test also uh, on the content what they have understood. So in this concept of e-braille. So if some so if the students have scored more than 50% of the mass in the questionnaires that we have prepared. So we assume that the student has understood the concept better in the emerging area. So same way we also regularly conduct the seminars for better understanding of the students. And uh, even we ask the students to prepare the posts on various emerging topics in the mechanical department. And so that so the ability of expressing the concept also will be improved upon. So we ask the students even to take up a few mini projects so that they can implement their ideas and convert them into products. So we also make the students to learn. So by doing the experiments also, by taking them to labs or near the industries also, so that I finally feel and I also feel proud that active learning certainly will make the students so to improve their overall performance. So we are proud to be so the part of this implementation of active learning in Gita Nivis Lab Science and Technology. Thank you. Hi, my name is Patu and I am from one of the largest engineering colleges in Mayo, the Gita. I chose mechanical engineering because I had keen interest in automobile and machinery right from my childhood. I was amazed by the fascinating infrastructure of the campus and the labs of mechanical engineering. The Bachelor's of Mechanical Engineering program at Gita has exactly been what I wanted. I've been a part of the family family for more than three years now, and I'm extremely happy for the contributions of the college, which enriched my future and helped me to reach new heights. There are several perks of being a mechanical engineering student at Gita. We were provided with plenty of resources that improve our technical skills. We have different labs like automobile engineering lab, CAD CAM lab, double engineering lab, etc., which was spread out an ample area with quite efficient machinery. We were provided the access to several internationally renowned journals and professional societies like the IUC, QCFI, Institution of Engineers, etc. Unique teaching methodologies were followed by our faculty. They made sure that we understand the concept in depth. And the most exciting thing being in uh, Gita is that here in Gita we have the faculty who have excellent industry expertise. And my favorite thing is the way in which our faculty give us brainstorm and creative research ideas to solve problems in all sorts of engineering domains. Frequent guest lectures were organized by the management in the areas of safety advancing technologies like additive manufacturing, which helped me to complete my project in medical application using additive manufacturing. Constant mentoring and support was always there from the faculty to make sure that we don't lose the confidence and hope. We were encouraged to participate in external guest lectures, in external projects, uh, exhibitions, tech fests, and uh, conferences, which helped us to improve our public speaking, uh, speaking capabilities. I am grateful for all the knowledge and support of my professors that has helped me in the complete profession. I am Spurgeon and I work as a research engineer at India Research Center, Hyderabad.